I put Universal into business on this. Peter Paul up at Universal in 1991. I made a phone call to him. I got some networked introductions, and I said, you guys make a lot of movies. When, when you are down to your short ends, what do you do? He said, we keep them until the expiration date, and then we throw them away. Well, I don't know if you know about pharmaceuticals and, and, and things. That expiration date isn't always the true expiration date. It's a date that they have no more argument. And if you think about it, if you're Kodak, is it to your advantage to have a shorter expiration date or a longer one? Because if people are willing to throw away perfectly good film and buy more film, you sell more film. So I did uh, a meeting with Tom Ellington, the president of CFI, and Jerry Verdig, the vice president of CFI, and I made this argument to them that uh, short ends should work if, if, I, if I shoot within 90 days of the expiration date. And we did a series of clip tests and we proved my theory. So I could buy short ends from Universal that had fully expired, and if I got them used within 90 days, so I'm buying it for like five cents a foot, what everybody else in town is spending 40, 45 cents a foot. Well, after doing this for three years, and, and up to the point where in 92 I was making as many as five movies a year for these little independent companies, Universal says, uh, we should start auctioning off our short ends. So I successfully won a, a few of the auctions, and it didn't really matter because by 97 the whole face of the business had changed, and I saw the handwriting on the wall, and I started to move in a different direction myself.